A somber march honoring the millions of Ukrainians who died during World War II. Ukraine's president together with community and religious leaders at the eternal flame at the tomb of the unknown soldier in Kiev. According to estimates, between 8 to 10 million Ukrainians were killed during the war. Over 700 cities and towns as well as almost 30,000 villages were destroyed. The memorial represents the communal burial site of Ukrainians who died during the deadliest military conflict in world history. A handful of veterans were present at the ceremony. In terms of human casualties, estimates vary. But the United Nations calls World War II one of the most epic struggles for freedom and liberation and estimates that 40 million civilians died and 20 million soldiers. Ukraine replaced the Soviet concept of Victory Day back in 2015 by renaming it to Day of Victory over Nazism in World War II. The renaming also marks a shift in how the day is viewed, with more focus on personal stories instead of grand military celebrations. Ukraine officially marks the end of the war with the rest of Europe a day earlier. Officials have dubbed May 8th as the Day of Reconciliation in an effort to unite Ukrainians with different views on the war. Ми нічого не забули. Нічого не зреклися того. We have not forgotten and we do not deny the truth. But over the past few years, we have discovered for ourselves new pages in this tragic chapter of our history. It was previously very carefully concealed from us and it was silenced. I have personally since 2015 spoke about the politics of our historical memory. Today, the time has come to talk about statistics, even before June 22, 1941, on different parts of the front line, more than 100,000 Ukrainians had already died. World War II remains a sensitive issue in Ukraine, a country with some families honoring the memory of their grandfathers who fought alongside Soviet forces, or for Ukrainian fighters for independence who resisted the Red Army and the Nazis at different stages of the war. May 8th is also a poignant occasion for the loved ones of those killed fighting Russian-led forces in Donbass. Hundreds of grieving mothers and widows walked down Kiev's main thoroughfare to honor them. Yeah. You know, I remember this day also because my grandfather died in World War II. My mother's dad died and was buried in Poland. I have never thought that this day might have entirely a different meaning for me. This war is certainly very painful, very painful. It is not all linked as much to World War II as it's linked to this current Russian-Ukrainian war. No one has thought and even admitted a thought that these two wars would be linked one day and that a new generation of children will know a real war. We had never expected and thought about it, but unfortunately this is the case. We must remember. Ukraine has also adopted the red poppy, which traditionally represents the spilled blood of Cossacks. For UTV, this is Demir Roseman in Kiev.